right, hello everyone. Welcome back to some Stormworks. Uh, I guess today we're going to be building a jump jet type of engine uh, for our spaceships. Uh, you guys have seriously requested this, uh, so we're going to do that for you guys today. So let's go ahead and jump in the workbench and let's get started. All right, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and throw, let's see, mirror mode on here. Let's go ahead and go to our jet engines. Uh, we're going to build this the same way we built our other one. Uh, so we're going to start with our large jet intake here. We'll go and grab ourselves a turbine here and we'll put the rps on top just like so um, i'll drop a block here and then here and this will allow us to come in and put a small intake here very nice uh, from here we're going to need our compression chamber and off of that we're going to need our combustion chamber and we'll leave uh fuel facing down for now uh, that'll keep our lines separate uh, from here i want to grab a cross piece and we're just going to do Oh, I don't know, two, three, four, five of those. Uh, I think that should be plenty for what we're gonna be doing here today. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves some turbines here and let's slap those on our sides here. And we can slap one down here on the end, just like so. All right, it's coming together. Uh, let's grab some pipes here real quick. We're gonna wanna pipe all of this in here. So we'll do like so, we'll do like so. We'll do all of these. Just like that. Let's go back to our straight piece, connect that up, connect all these, and then we can go in and put some uh, cross pieces here and actually connect all this RPS up to itself. Uh, where's our cross piece? Cross piece is here. I'm gonna rotate that, get all these. Come on, why does it do that? I don't understand why it, there we go. All right, all our RPS is connected. That is good. Let's give our turbine here some gearboxes. And we're just going to face those back towards the engine there. You know what, let's go ahead and, s I don't think we'll need a third, but we'll go ahead and just slap a third there just for the sake of slapping a third. Uh, so we really need to pay attention to our pink block here, our center of mass. Uh, this is going to change and drift back and forth as we start doing things. Uh, and that's going to be very important to where we put our lift controls in here. Uh, let's grab ourselves a tank here. Let's go ahead and get our fluids taken care of. And we could do just like so right in there. That is perfect. Let's go ahead and change these over to jet. We'll do all of them over to jet. Don't need to mix any of our fuels together. And we'll come down here and connect it all together. We'll just go back to our pipes. Do one there. Let's get ourselves maybe a cross piece. I think that should work. And then we'll need a straight piece across here. And then what goes here? Almost like a uh, like a corner piece. Where is that piece at? Right here. Pipe angle corner. There we go. Now we have our fuel. Our fuel is tapped in. Uh, that's good. All right, so from here, what do we want to do? Uh, we're going to need to do a couple, some more tanks on the bottom here, and this is going to be in preparation for our hydrogen and our oxygen. Uh, so let's go back to our tanks. We can grab our mediums here, and I think what we'll do is we'll just start stacking them under here, like so, just like that, and I think that should be good. We'll go, I don't know how much we're going to need, so we'll just go ahead and do all of that. Uh, one side will be oxygen, and one side will be our hydrogen. Uh, that will be perfect. Uh, let's get some pipes for that as well. We can pipe all of this out. And I think what we'll do is we'll just come up with it. We'll just try to make it as neat as possible so that when we actually do get our, our thrusters, I'd like to line our thrusters up here with the center of our engine. Uh, so let's go ahead and plan to get to the back of that. So we'll just bend around here and like so. And somehow here will be our connection for the back of our thruster. Uh, and the thrusters are actually the size of the big afterburners. So that technically is what our new thrusters look like for space. Size-wise, I think that's about what they take up. It's a three by three by five or six, something like that. So that's really all the space that we got to plan for. Uh, so not a whole lot of space to worry about as far as putting in one of the thrusters. Uh, now you could put in the solid rockets uh, if you wanted to do that. Uh, let's see if we can spell that right today. Um, you could put a, a rocket booster in here. Uh, by all means, feel free. Uh, they just don't have the power that they need to push. This engine here will actually produce more power than the actual rockets will. Uh, so that's why I'm hoping that these new uh, liquid thrusters will be really nice and we can really get some stuff done with those. So now that we know that, let's go ahead and use, let's get our jets back. Let's go ahead and do something like this. We'll just give it five blocks of space just in case there's something going on that we don't know anything about uh, with the thrust here. And that'll just give us an idea of where that actual thruster can go. Now, Let's make this thing look nice. Uh, first of all, hang on, it's got to lift. And I'm looking at our center of mass here. It's somewhere right in here. 
So this is where we're going to actually want our lift to happen. And here, let's see, one, two, three. So we want it to lift about here. We're going to have to come back to here, I think. Let's go back to our pipes. We want the cross corner. Yep, that's what we want. And we're going to want to come back with an angle piece. Let's go ahead and grab a gearbox here. We're going to throw that back towards the engine. We're going to come up with another angle piece. And now we're going to grab a prop. And we're just going to grab the uh, the rotor light here. That's fine. That's perfect. Uh, you want to select on it. Uh, we're going to take it to the maximum number of blades. Uh, we want this to be neutral. And we want those blades to be super small. Are you thinking now, is this going to actually work? Yes, these blades are actually more powerful than the bigger blades than these guys. Uh, these These... Those are super weak compared to these little guys here. So you'll get a, enough lift to be able to lift a massive creation with this engine with this. Because all you need to do is maintain 60 RPS with this. That's that's really all we're looking for here. So now that that's done, we can start boxing this thing out. Let's, uh, let's do that. We know we want it to go about there. We know it needs to be about that wide there. Uh, so we can come back out to, say, here with it. And we'll come back to here with it. And as far as underneath the engine goes, how far off the top are we? We are one block off, so we can do the same thing on the bottom. We'll just do that like so. So it's an even build here. All right, I think that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and delete that. And behind here, what we're going to do is we're going to lay our blocks out. If I can go through here like so, we'll do the same thing underneath. We'll just hide all of our engine compartment back here. We don't need to see it, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's go ahead and do all of that, all of that, and delete that. Now, we are going to leave, there is a little pipe here that is an, on an angle, and we are going to leave, actually, that's not going to work for us. We need to, let's do this. Let's get rid of one. We'll move this down, and there we go. Now we have an opening to the front, which we're going to need. We need to keep this engine open to the outside world because these blades need to have outside air in order for them to work. They don't need any space around them to work. They just need actual physical air to the build part itself all right so that's done let's get rid of this uh, i think it's coming along nicely we can let's figure out what we need to do here i think what we'll start with oops we'll uh we'll just start with a big old square i did round ones for my vehicle and i think what we'll do is we'll just we'll change it up here and we'll do more of a uh, a boxy shape here for these nacelles uh but i think i think they'll look good i don't i don't think we'll have to worry about looks here let's get all this boxed out Perfect, nice, there we go, and we'll do that. And I think that looks all right. Let's extend this out some more. So we'll do one, two, three. I think that looks all right. I think that's enough. Let's go in here and put our wedges here, kind of round this off on the inside. There we go, I feel like that looks pretty good. We can do the same thing on our corners here. That will change things up a little bit. And we'll do the same thing on the bottom here. All right, perfect. There we go. And it's already starting to look nice. I know it's squared, but it, it's 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 starting to look good. Uh, from here, let's... I feel like this needs some sort of angle to it. Something like that, maybe? Just to kind of change the front up a little bit here. Uh, what if we deleted some of this? Is it going to get angry with us? I don't think so. I think that actually might work. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's do that. We'll fix the bottom here. And get rid of all that. Nice. Nice little scoop section here i think that works pretty good uh let's see from there i don't like that the bottom is super squared and i don't like that the back is super squared either let's try this we've got that we can come in here and let's block this off we have plenty of room to do kind of maintenance change things around whatever we need to do to change up in here and make this work uh, we can do the same thing here we'll go ahead and round that off like so let's grab ourselves some hinges Let's spell hinges right. And I think we're going to go with these guys here. And let's do it on the inside here, I think. I think this will look good here, which means we're going to have to change all of that, which is okay. That's fine. Let's, uh, I'm getting distracted. Let's get our hinge here. And I think I need to be on this side for this to do what I want. And we'll go one right there. And we'll put one on the bottom here as well. Let's flip that over. All right, perfect. All right, now let's add some little bits like so. And this will just kind of mimic our like our afterburners, you know, and it'll give us some motion to our engine back here just to kind of make it look like things are things are happening. Uh, so we'll get all of that. Let's see. One, two off the side. One, two off the side. That's perfect. And then we'll do one. I want that click. Two, three, four. OK, we can do that. Uh, let's go one more with these guys like so, like so, like so. 
Like so? Do we have we have too many here? Was that our problem? That was our problem. Okay, so let's uh let's round these corners off. I think that'll look nice. Okay, right, we do those. We can do those, and we will do these. Nice. So those should open and close as we uh as we see fit and as we need. Uh from there, it's got an okay shape. It's got an okay shape. I kinda want let's see. You know what? Let's uh I like showing off engine parts. Let's see what we can actually show off in here. Uh, let's do, say, that. Maybe, oops, nope, let's not do that. That's extra weight. And we'll do that. And we'll do this. And we'll do like so. I think that works. Let's do it one more block. Let's go out one more. And let's do our wedges. And we'll just kind of swoop it in here. And that'll actually look pretty good. And we'll actually be able to read our engine from the exterior with our page up. Uh, so that'll be nice. Do that, and we'll do that. And we can read the fuel. All right, so we'll put some inverse pyramids in here just to kind of clean these corners up a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Do the same thing here and right there. Yeah, actually, I think that looks pretty good. That kind of opens up that engine a little bit, makes it look a little, uh, a little more interesting. Uh, what kind of space do we have here? Let's get rid of all that. Let's go to our fluid. I think what will look good in here is one of these guys, actually. How many can we get in here? Can we get a couple in here? One two how does that look not too bad i feel like it's a little too forward for what i want to do uh so let's we can go back one more with it that look all right that looks terrible i'm thinking more in this region then it's not gonna be even no matter what i do it's not gonna be even hmm. yeah it's not gonna be even i'm just gonna go back to how we had it with the two i think that'll be okay uh that looks fine gives us some sort of venting aspect to it let's do the same thing on the top here let's find out where those blocks are and do that a little bit of venting there we go and i think that looks pretty good i'd like to if we had space to put like a landing gear in the bottom of this thing but i don't think we have enough space to do that but maybe we can maybe we can plan for the future let's do this let's bring let's bring our engine down to like here maybe drag that out like so and i think we'll just bring it back up let's see let's grab one of these we want to come to there Oh, wow. Well, look at that. That was perfect. Yeah, I feel like that actually brings the shape out a lot better. Uh, so let's do that. Let's go ahead and we'll get rid of this, 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 and this, and all of this bottom section. Uh, so in the future, we could put a landing gear in here if we saw fit. Uh, whoops, broke a lot of that. There we go. Because yeah, look at look at the amount of space in here that we have now. Uh, you can also use all the space for microcontrollers. That's what I'm using my space for. Uh, it does help out a lot. It gives you a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of room underneath here to work with. And yeah, I think it works out pretty good. Uh, let's do all of that. We'll fill this back in. Make that look nice and neat. Oops. Okay, backside done. We'll do the front here. I'll just do all that. And I think I'm going to round these corners off. Uh, they look a little too squared for me. So I think we're going to go boop. Yeah, we're going to do all of this. We'll do all that, all of that, all of that. Let's grab ourselves one of these. Drag that up. That looks good. We'll take this. We'll round it off. And yeah, that's starting to come together real nice, I think. Uh, let's do all of these. We'll get rid of that, 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 and that. Do that to there. Looks good. I think that works pretty good. Um, let's do this. Let's build off of this, say, I need an odd number. And I don't need to do it on both sides. So we'll do it on one side only. And an odd number, we'll go with, uh, how far can we go? How far can we go? 38, so we're gonna go 37. All right, let's move this guy over somewhere like that. Perfect. Let's grab, actually we need a jet controller. So let's get our jet controller first. JCU, we'll plop this in right here at the front. Uh, let's hook this all up. And then when we swap it to the other side, it should be good to go. Starter goes to the compressor. Throttle goes to the throttle. Compressor air pressure is right here. Let's see. Air pressure from the compressor. Nope, that's RPS. Whoops. Compressor. We'll get unhook that. And our RPS goes here. Now we just need our on off and our throttle from our seat. And that should be good there. Cool. Perfect. Let's, um, I think we're good there. Let's copy this, stretch it to the other side here. We'll just grab everything that we can all the way down and all the way back. All of it. I want all of it. Is that all of it? Nope. We need these side pieces and the top. There we go. That should be everything. Is that the floor as well? Do we get the floor? Nope. We did not get the floor. And let's fix this right there. Perfect. So we're going to copy this. Did I copy it? We're going to copy this. We're going to hit U to reverse everything. So the main thing we're just trying to reverse is our props. 
And that should be good there. Let's paste that. Let's merge that with that. And I think we've got ourselves a set of nacelles that we can start using. Um, let's do, let's go ahead and see if, oh, I didn't get these guys transferred over. Why? Why, why, why? Did we get the other ones? Yep, we got the other ones. Okay. So let's find our center here, which is way over there now. It is right there. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and hook this up. We'll make it hover and fly and stuff. And then you guys can just have this and then use it. We'll just need a place for our seat here. So we're going to do that, that, and that. We'll get ourselves a seat. We'll just go for the compact pilot here. I am going to go ahead and add the helmet to it because this is going to be so loud. So loud. Uh, let's get ourselves a gyro. We're going to plop the gyro down right there. And I need to grab my VTOL microcontroller. So let me grab that real quick. All right, we've got our microcontroller here. So we've got our gyro, we've got our VTOL microcontroller, and I think uh, we're pretty good from there. Uh, we might need to do something with our clutch here in a minute, but we're gonna get things cranked up and started here. So let me go ahead and hook everything up here. But like always, WS is pitch, up down is up down, AD is gonna be our roll, and left right will be our yaw. Uh, so we're gonna go into the gyro, and then from the gyro, we'll come into our, our microcontroller here. So then we'll have up down, we can go for our roll, and then our y'all. All right, uh, so we're gonna go roll right, roll left, pitch right, selective left, selective right. What's left here? Pitch left and to pivots. We don't need those and we don't need the VTOL. All right, perfect. Uh, that's all set there. Let's get ourselves a throttle and a toggle. This is turning on our engines. All right, so then we're gonna hook this up. So let's take our throttle to our JCU here. We're gonna take we're just gonna take the starter and that's gonna to go to our JCU like so. Uh, let's grab the throttle. That can go to our target RPS like so. We can go ahead and just crank this up to 100 for right now for testing. Uh, I think that'd be pretty good. Uh, we'll be okay there. Uh, what else do I need? We've got, we've got fuel, we've got thrust batteries. Let's go ahead and we'll give each side its own battery system. Uh, that should be okay. Just for starting purposes, we'll do that. We'll just hook this side up to this side. Everything gets power, everything gets power. All right, and the gyro is gonna go to this one and that one, and that's what's gonna keep everything connected here. We'll connect the throttle and the starter there. Let's get all this connected. All right, so I believe everything is actually connected up now. Uh, so we've got power, we've got fuel, we've got our control surfaces. Let's do, let's see, let me get a constant number here. Uh, the plan is to have this be a little different, but for the right now, this is what we're gonna do. Just for for looks, uh, I'd like to have the, you know what? Here's how we're gonna do this. Uh, let's take a function block and we shall put it right here. We're gonna take our throttle into our function and then our function block is gonna go to all of our pivots here, like so. Uh, in here, uh, I think we're gonna do X divided by 100, make sure you get that division symbol in there. There we go, X divided by 100. So our throttle is a one signal. We've we've amped that up to a 100. So now we're gonna divide that back down to a one, which will control these little plates here. And that should give us the ability to have these flex in and out as uh, as the thrust is uh, enlarging and getting and getting more. Does that make any sense? These, these will move based on thrust. There we go, words. Uh, so that's taken care of. Let me slap a little bit of paint in here. Let's get this thing painted up kind of nice. We'll just darken the inside here. Whoops, like so, that looks nice. Uh, we'll paint you up as well. There we go, and a little bit inside here, just so we don't have to see all of this. There we go, perfect. Do I paint those? Nope, I don't think I'm gonna paint those. All right, let's go back to the back. Let's see what the back looks like. Need to do some painting back here, that's okay. We'll just paint all of that. There we go, it's nice and neat. Oh, I didn't connect anything here. There we go. Let's get these interior pieces painted uh, because they're constantly interacting with thrust and we'll do the outsides of them as well. All right, I think that's pretty cool. Let's paint this up as well on the inside. I think this will look nice just like that. Yeah, I think that looks good. Uh, just kind of brings your eye to it a little bit. And we'll do something like that. Does that look good? Let's um, Let's start this up. I wanna see what this does. And then we'll go from there. They look good. I think they look really good. Uh, let's do crankity crankity. They are cranking. I'm noticing my fans are already spinning. Uh, we're gonna need to put those on a clutch. That way we can just hover without going forward. And we're gonna need a boost button here too to uh, make this go a little bit faster. Oops, I got some paint that I noticed was uh, 
let's do that okay it's taking a little while let's 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 fix that up okay first things first let's fix this paint there we go i think that's all of that nope all right there we go so let's go inside and on top here we're gonna go back to our pipes and we're gonna get the t piece here and just on a few of these just like this outer edge here let's do the t pieces like so we're gonna go to motors just get the small motor that's all we need and we're just gonna plop those on top of those guys like that uh let's get ourselves a push because we only need a temporary for this we'll take that and this can go to a switch box we'll just get ourselves a little switch box place that there that will turn on our switch box the switch box will turn on our little motors here which will boost the rps of the compressors and allow it to turn on a lot quicker there's that let's give this some power we'll call this starter we'll call this boost start and we're gonna need a clutch that we can put right here and we're gonna need another switch box we'll do it just like that and from number four wherever number four is we'll go here and then we shall go into the clutch here there we go that's good uh we'll label number four as forward thrust and let's give that a go let's see how this does you know what i'm gonna let's lower this down a little bit so it doesn't go slamming into the ground every single time how's that perfect perfect you know i actually starting to like these engines a lot better than my other engines maybe we'll do a swap out or something uh okay so let's starters boost it are we getting fuel we're not getting something oh there we go okay it just took a minute And we have liftoff, but I did not. Oh, okay, okay, yep. Uh, if you're gonna use a gyro, guys, maybe hook the gyro up. Uh, that might be a thing to do. Uh, we're just gonna do occupied for this one. We'll just go straight into there. That should be good. Uh, let's try this again. Did I give power to those guys? Hang on. That's why my boosters weren't working. Okay, so let's power those up. You should be able to hear them go zzzz when, when they hit the button. Now let's try that. All right, so we're in the seat. We're gonna crank it up. Let's boost it. Yeah, there it goes. Boom, now they're active. We are running. Uh, let's give it a little more throttle. All right, and there we go. We have liftoff. We haven't even done anything to the gear ratio yet. We could really gear this thing down and and get it really, uh, really nice and fine tuned here. Uh, let's do some forward thrust. We do not have any, uh, any control services, so I have no idea what this is gonna do for us uh absolutely nothing we did not power up our clutches sweet we'll power the clutch and we shall power clutch let's go ahead and mess with our gear ratios here we don't need all that power on here we can keep things nice and low let's try three to one on both of these and see what that does and uh you guys are welcome to change this as needed uh as you add weight to these and, and change the shape of it this will need to change uh you might even need to uh change the the distance of where the uh, blades are based on uh, balance and things and that's quite all right let's spawn that bond in nice okay we'll get in here let's start it boost start boom we're good to go we'll throttle up a little bit and we've got way too much power now way too much power on those okay so that's quite all right we'll just tune these back a little bit there we go three to one on one and none on the other let's go ahead and turn this throttle around here it's bothering me there we go we'll paste that merge that let's try that again all right good to go a little bit of throttle shouldn't need more than 20 because we did a three to one that'll give us 60 on our blades there and i think we're just getting too much let's try that hang on let's tune this down a little bit i think we just got too much gyro going on here uh let's take everything down to say 70 and again we only weigh 5,000 mass so you're gonna want to add some more mass to this to kind of keep this thing from bouncing around so much but i think 70 might do it let's try that all right it's kind of stable i'm uh, i really think that we're just we're just geared up way too much right now so what we can do is we can just gear these guys down. That's fine, we'll gear them down. Uh, you guys can gear these however you need. Uh, as you need more power to lift, you change those and uh, get those going. Let's try some forward thrust here. We'll just do one of these on three to one. See what that does for us. And I think actually we could hide control surfaces in here as well. Let's do that. Let's hide our control surfaces. So we're gonna need 
Something like that. Is it both sides? We're doing both sides. Okay. Let's go to rudders. Uh, I want to turn mirror mode off here for a second. And we're going to do it like that. Where did that block go? We'll do it like that. Mirror mode is going to go back on. We're going to do our pitch back here as well. And then up front here in the corners, we're going to do our roll. Uh, let's see. So D is positive. So we want to rotate this. All right. The so positive up on this side, like so. Let's go ahead and power all these up. Uh, for this, I am going to use another gyro. I'm just going to set, we want to separate the gyros here from our props and our control services, just in case for some reason you got to tune one from the other. So that's what we're going to do. Can I get the right things here? Okay, so we want y'all to y'all, roll to roll, pitch to pitch, and the other one doesn't matter. Um, so we'll just do our seat to turn that on. Got power to it. Now we just got to hook up our other nodes. W and S to pitch, up down to up down, A and D to roll. Left, right to y'all. Let's try this. So far, so good. Let's get in the air. All right, not bad, not bad. We could also tweak the uh, the collective on that gyro too. I feel like we've got a lot of up and down bounce. Let's try our fans here. There we go, forward thrust. And we've got controls. Nice. Man, these look good. I like these. These are really nice. All right, so there you go, guys. There is our spaceship jump jet thrusters, whatever you guys want to call these. Uh, there, there are nacelles for our spaceship. That's how I built mine. Left a little bit of room here for our new parts, uh, which will be nice. Well, I, well, we've already got enough fuel on board for those, so we should be able to, once we've entered space, we can just... Uh, Go kaboom with the button and go to liquid thrusters. There's plenty of room on these guys to put our RCS thrusters. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. We've done a thing. We've done a thing. What's happened? There we go. We're back to normal. It needs weight, guys. It needs more weight. That's that's the problem that we're dealing with right now with these. Uh, let's go back into hover mode. And we're going to come down here and land this guy. All right, trying to land. One thing that I see that we got going on here is the, the jet fans, they hold a lot of RPS. Uh, they kind of act like a flywheel. Uh, so even when you kill RPS to it, these guys continue to move and continue to produce thrust. Uh, I found that on my spaceship, sometimes I got to plan almost 2K away from turning off the thrust just to uh, to get it to where it actually needs to go. Uh, but we are starting to slow down here and we're actually going to be able to hover down to the ground. But yeah, they've just got so much thrust. Uh, you could swap these out for the, for the fans. Uh, that will work as well. But you know how loud those are. They make that nice woo noise uh but they will stop a little quicker for you uh you can also do some sort of brake system too if you guys wanted uh but yeah guys there it is there is our new thrusters uh i'm gonna leave a workshop link for you guys you guys are welcome to have these do whatever you want to with this i really don't care uh i'd love to see some spaceship builds with this and uh see what you guys do uh let's take it back to the workbench real quick i want to slap some paint on this and then uh we'll give it to you guys all right, that should do it. Just enough to kind of make it look like a base metal here and get some stripes on it. You guys do whatever you want to with it. But yeah, I am going to uh, I'm going to load this onto the workshop for you guys. Uh, you guys can download this, use it however you want. Um, again, like I said, I'd really love to see what you guys build with this. Um, modify it, change it, change the outer shape of it. I really don't care. Uh, I just want to see you guys build some spaceships. I think that'd be really, really cool. Uh, and I cannot wait to see what you guys build. Uh, so if you guys want, um, I'll leave a link in the video description for this as well. Uh, I'll also put it on my Discord. Uh, please come on over to the Discord. Share your builds, share your ideas with others. There's a lot of people over there that love to share ideas and love to build and love to work together. Uh, so yeah, try that out as well. And yeah, guys, if you are enjoying this video series, make sure you throw a like on this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and we will see you guys in the next one.